1,200,000. It's auction day at Christie's, a sale reserved for the super rich. Here. Works by Picasso, Dali, Chagall and other modern masters fetch millions of dollars apiece. With many works snapped up by rich Chinese buyers who ensure prices remain high. This is estimated at 7 to 10 million pounds, 11 to 15 million dollars. Last year this Picasso broke auction records bought by a mystery buyer. 160 million dollars. It's yours. So, so. At this high end, art is an asset to be traded, but experts warn the market may be ready for a slump. Researchers at the University of Luxembourg have been analysing the results of millions of sales over 30 years. Their findings show that art sales fluctuate like other commodities, gold and real estate, and now we're heading for a big dip. A lot of people who are specialists of the art market have been expecting the market to cool down and I think we're seeing it this year. I think we saw its top at, in May last year and uh, since then we have seen a bit of a cooling. Will it collapse? I don't think so. Will it uh, hit a downward trajectory? I think we're seeing that this year. Christie's sold 7.4 billion dollars in art last year, a billion less than it sold a year earlier. Falling oil prices and concerns about a slowdown in the Chinese economy are worrying the world's wealthy. But it's these smaller commercial galleries gathered here at the London Art Fair that are feeling the squeeze. The problem for many of these galleries is that there's now too much art and not enough buyers willing to hedge their bets on new or lesser known talent. It's forced many galleries to reduce their prices and some to close their doors altogether. It's really difficult because obviously in London, property prices are so enormous, so it's very hard for small galleries to maintain a central London presence these days. And I think that's the, that's the biggest threat to, to young galleries. And I think it's really sad because there's no way that they can sustain their presence and support younger artists um, if they can't afford their overheads. Art and money have historically gone hand in hand. But as the wealthy tighten their purse strings, the entire art market could suffer. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.